What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on? It's Mr. Warmack. I'm in the building, as you can see. I'm doing the videos. So let's go in. Today I'm going to talk about a nice little topic called, uh, I'm happy that finally people are listening to what I'm saying. And let me go in on it. I try to tell people that here's here's how, how a lot of people think, especially if you go on Facebook. A lot of people are using the internet for local shit, for shit on their blocks, mostly stupid shit. But I give respect to people who use it as a business and otherwise. Because here's what people gotta understand. YouTube and all these other internet and social media sites, the world is watching you. And that's how you reflect as, as, as your as society as a whole. You reflect bad on society, or whatever society you're in, you do stupid corny shit. Right, wrong, or indifferent, that's how it is. That's how the game's played. It's always been played like that. What people don't understand is, you see all these little twerk videos by all these chicks, now by little boys, little men, grown men, you still do real stupid stuff like you see on Facebook. Unless you get paid to do this stupid stuff. Or even if you, even if you got paid, some of the stuff is just outrageous. Like, if you're a model, if you're any type of model, any type of like, dollar entertainer, any type of rapper, any type of photographer, videographer, any type of entertainment. Well, YouTube is all entertainment. Let, let's break you guys' bubble with taking your liminal message. YouTube is entertainment at some point level for somebody who watches your video. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. If you do it like any type of, like I said, modeling, I ran all this, athletes, whatever, you should be using this to benefit and further your career. You should be on all the social network sites, on all the, all, the, all the things you have to do to promote yourself. Because this is not a brick and mortar business. This is this is basically a startup business. All you need is a, a webcam, which comes out as your laptop or your computer. And all you need now is just an idea. Preferably not biting off a of mind. But I see if you have to do, you have to do what you have to do to get popping up. Back when I'm saying, it, and like I said, with me personally, that's why I don't talk about one specific topic, because the world is bigger than one specific topic. If people want to do that, that's fine. And I, I have no, I don't begrudge them for doing it. Me personally, I talk about a little bit of everything. I try to, because a lot of people are ignorant. Like if you talk about one thing, that's good, because it's going to a, you're hitting a certain audience. And, that, and But if you talk about stuff, even if people talk about a certain thing, they'll, probably, they'll tell you. A lot of people are ignorant. A lot of people don't care to... And this, this, this is what gets me. A lot of people don't care to know. They want their information, and they usually get their information from the television, news, news of some type, mainstream news. Like, people are now... Like, I talked about, about something in America here where... Congress or not the Senate or whatever. I think he has the Senate. No, the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court nullified sections four and five of the Civil Rights Voting Act. Now that slid under the rug. Why? Because homosexual rights to get married was on the forefront and never was banging the drum. Now, people that affected the sections three and four, it was being talked about, but they didn't pay attention to that. See, now the chickens have come to roost because now it's going to affect people, and people are now pro look, look at they protest in North Carolina. Well, why are you why are you protesting a month ago when this happened like a while back? It's like people want to run the race the day after the race. It's like you need to stay informed and alert because when like but because like I made the point before, you care when them welfare cards got you know unlimited whatever money on them because. You can clean out Walmarts, but whenever it's something that really affects you, something that really hits home, you don't want to know unless somebody has to tell you, and then you don't really care until it really affects you. 
And here, and these are, you can tell who these people are. These are the people that, that usually they put on the news, these ignorant bastards that want to huff and puff and huff up and down. And I'm so mad. I didn't, they always say, I didn't know about this. Why didn't somebody tell me? If you would be more informed, you would have known. I'm not going to hold everybody's hand anymore. I come here, I tell you, like people ask me to do videos, believe it or not, which is really frightening for a lot of you. People will ask me to do videos, talk about something, I'll talk about something. See, my experiences come from, I've been around. My experiences come from older people who I've listened to, my co-workers and everybody. My, my, that's why my videos are not just centered on one specific thing. I can talk about the, what's going on in Ukraine, because I know a little bit about it, and I know I have Ukrainian friends. I have Russian friends. I have friends of, I have Asian friends, I have white friends, but I have a lot of black friends because I'm naturally in black. That's why I can talk about different topics. Because if I want to know something, I'll say, hey, Vitaly, you got a lot of luck. He'll say, he'll say, hey, come back, one back, little luck. We just go back and forth. But a lot of people have the ability to do these connections, but a lot of people don't want to do the connections. Because you know why? Because it's work. And that's one thing that you guys don't want to do. That's a four-letter word along with fuck, hell, and the rest of all the four-letter words you can't say. Work has become the new four-letter word to a lot of you. You don't want to do it. What you want to do, you want to piggyback off of somebody else. We want to slide off what they're doing. Say like you get a popular YouTuber, and he does a lot of stuff and you find out he's getting put on. But what you do is, a lot of you guys do, and ladies do, you want to you want to be, it's, it's like the well that goes through the ocean. It has all them little sucker, whatever parasites sucking off of the body. That's what a lot of you people are because you don't want to do the work. I watch your videos. A lot of you guys are just parasites. I hate to say it, but you're parasites. You, you want to suck off of what they're like. Say if somebody has a, a popular topic, and, you know, gets traction, they're getting in some mainstream uh, websites, whatever. You guys want to slide off all of a sudden, you want to do it. It's like, well, this is this person's idea. Why are you going to jump their idea? Come up with an idea of your own. Talk about, if you want to talk about that, cool. But don't do the exact same thing as A is doing. Don't do what B is doing. You're C. Do something different. But that's what you do now. That's what people do now. They're lazy to get views. If it's two people fighting, three people fighting, four people fighting, don't do a video about that. I understand you gotta do, I understand certain people. Let me talk about this. certain people. Certain, if you're, if that's your type of blogging style where you're, you're in, like, in the know for that news, oh, I can understand it. But everybody in the brother does not have to do a video. What they do is they slide off the views. It's kind of cheap, you know, I, I don't, I don't do it. But that's your game, I guess. That's your lane. If you're happy being a bottom feeder, that's cool. But if you're if you're a bottom feeder, don't get mad when you get all the shit comes to you. You know what I mean? You know, when I that's how I talk about I'm talking about Ukraine. I don't know if I did or I will be, depending on when I upload this video. And I can talk about the problems of the black community. Why? Because I'm in the black community. Like I'm in the black community. It's just the, I can venture off and talk about anything. I could talk about how racists don't get along in America. Why? Because racists aren't getting along in America. Like, uh, people don't want to talk about this. By the way, race is one of the main topics in America that is, we won't, we will not discuss because everybody, whether you're black, white, brown, or Asian, or red, Indian, Native American, it, it's uncomfortable for everybody to talk about because the truths will have to come out. Some myths will be debunked and we have to sit down and have an honest and open relationship about race. But we won't, we won't, like, I don't see it happening in my time. It might be my, my kid's time, it might be, I don't know, but in my time, because, like, everybody gets, it's, race is so emotional, America is crazy, so we'll, back to let your hand. That's what some of you good people could talk about. Talk about that. But don't talk about the exact same thing as somebody else talked about. Like, when you talk about the Trayvon Martin thing, I can see you talk about it was it was event that was your opinion. But if you have the same opinion as three other motherfuckers, I'm not, I'm not like first five minutes, I'm like, no, first two minutes, click on the next one. You sound just like so and so. And on that note, I see a lot of people jocking people's style. Like, if you look at my videos from three, 
four years ago, when I first started, I was wearing this stuff, and it wasn't a big deal. All of a sudden, now I'm wearing this is a big deal. I remember I got laughed at. I got, who the fuck wears sunglasses and a nightcap and, and doing the video? Well, if you see other people doing it, apparently they do it. I had, you know, just, you can jock style to a point, but if you're doing the exact same thing as somebody's doing, it's just corny. It's corny to me, that's just what I'm saying. It's just corny. It's mad corny. So, if you want to be on this social media shit, be aware that people are watching, the world is watching. Not just, not just your fucking grandma, your mom and them. I'm talking about Sanjay and them from fucking, uh, not Bombay, what's the, Mumbai. That, that's, the, that's the old word for Bombay Indian is Mumbai. Sanjay in Mumbai is watching. And how do I know? Because he's friends with me on Google Plus. And like, here's what you guys don't understand. I'm on Google Plus as heavy as I'm on Facebook. And I'm more on, or I can say I'm more on um, Google Plus because of international flavor. And that's international flavor that gets me my views. I'll be honest with you. I just feel talk about international topics. And let me tell you something. I got, I got a topic about Scotland. If you look at it, it's one of my top views. Guess where I got most of my views from on that video? From Scotland. I even had, if you look at my discussion wall, I had even had Alex Salmon look to do it up. He's like, I guess the top, one of the top politicians in Scotland. I, that's how one guy found my, I saw a lot of people found my video because he was talking. 